Gonna make it through this. Oh no! It hurts. Oh, it's okay, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the pleb is back. In today's special report, I have massive updates for you guys as to what's happening with the farmer protests over in Europe. So, if you like manure spraying, tire fires, highway blockades, you won't want to miss tonight's story. Stick around. Today's episode has been brought to you by my merch store. Now, I read all the comments underneath my videos, and one of the comments I've been receiving about my latest merch, this red Make Canada Great Again hat, is that you guys don't like it because it's in red. You don't want to be associated with liberals. But don't worry, the pleb has your back, as I have designed a brand new Make Canada Great Again hat in conservative blue and it's available for order today. Just click on the merch links underneath this video and you can order yourself a blue Make Canada Great Again snapback hat. So if you guys like triggering the left and supporting the pleb, order a Make Canada Great Again hat today and more merch is on the way. Also, a lot of you folks are being unsubscribed from my channel. Maybe it's because I tell the news that the mainstream media is definitely trying to hide from you. So if you guys could be vigilant and just double check if you're still subscribed, I would appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button because I'm telling you the stories that the mainstream media is hiding. All right, guys, we're going to get right into this story because it's been a while. I haven't covered the farmer protests over in Europe, and that was because I was traveling. But now I am back home. I'm back to making regular videos, and I caught up on everything that happened since I've been gone. All right, we have a lot to cover here in this video, so make yourself a bowl of popcorn because the footage I'm about to show you is extremely entertaining. Tonight's story will kick off in France, and we're going to rewind things back to the end of February, where in Paris, there was a farmers convention, and ahead of the convention, the farmers decided to start barricading government buildings by laying brick. Watch. All right, for those who don't read French saying, the serious protesting has started. Now look at this. <laughs> Wow. They're literally surrounding it in brick. They're, they're, that's brick and mortar. That is wild. And the following day at the farmer convention, the farmer protests were not welcome there, but the protesters barged their way in. Wow. <laughs> the guards have no chance. There we go. Now, the farmer protesters made it through the first gate of the convention, but once they made it to the main entrance, more organizers tried to keep them out, but the protesters barged through that too. <laughs> wow. They have no chance against hardworking farmers. <laughs> you ain't stopping the farmers. No chance. So the farmer protesters made it into this convention where they were not welcome, where Manuel Macron was set to speak. And in this convention that they took over, loud chants of Macron resign flooded the whole convention. Macron démission, that means Macron resign. Macron resign. Wow. Macron, 
Now, things got so hectic at this convention in Paris that Emmanuel Macron literally had to run out of there for his own safety. As you can see in this shot here, he literally bolted right out of the convention. So yes, that's what happened at the convention. Now we'll fast forward a couple of days ahead here in France. And at the end of February, the farmers were once again spotted blocking highways with their debris. <laughs> Wow, on both sides of the highway. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what is this? More fruits from abroad that they, they dumped? Yeah, this is probably more fruits from other countries that they dumped out. Wow. And on the same day in another city in France, a city called Valreas, the protesters, the farmers, decided to start dumping crap on top of the shopping carts of a grocery store that sells products from abroad. Oh my gosh, look at that. The whole, <laughs> they lined up all the shopping carts, they dumped tires, they dumped more crap from the farm. Completely barricading this grocery store. That is wild. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. And it wasn't just in France that was popping off. We're going to move things over to Belgium. And two days after the last clip I just showed you, the farmers and the police have a standoff and the farmers start spraying the barricades with shredded hay. Wow. <laughs> Man, these cops are just getting sprayed with hay here. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Crazy scenes in Belgium. What do you guys think of this? <laughs> and there's the. <laughs> he just keeps getting sprayed. Oh, they're shooting back with the water now. Oh, the counter here. They got, <laughs> they got the water cannons out. Quite the battle here in Belgium. And over in Belgium on the same day at another barricade, the farmers brought another trick up their sleeve, the old manure truck, and flooded the barricade. <laughs> oh, man. Zoom in on this. Look at that. And they had reinforcements behind them with the tractors here. But look, they're just flooding. Flooding it. <laughs> and over in Belgium on that same day, at another barricade, the farmers, well, didn't have much respect for the barricade, as you will see in this clip, where they just blow right through it. This clip right here is wild. <laughs> Look at this guy where my mouse is. <laughs> he just gets out of the way. Look at this. Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Quite the crazy scenes in Belgium, but now we're going to move things over to the following day in a new country of Poland where tens of thousands of protesters showed up and flooded the streets to support the farmers. Quite the scenes out of Poland. Now we're going to fast forward things over to the start of March. And in the country of France, apparently... The farmers made their way to the Chateau de Versailles. <laughs> wow. 
the iconic Chateau de Versailles taken over by the farmers. And that wasn't the only famous landmark that the French protesters got to on that day, as a farmer somehow got through police barricades and brought his tractor over to the Arc de Triomphe. Look at that support. Now we will move things ahead over to March 11th, where the farmer protesters in France started dumping waste and manure over at the regional council in Bordeaux. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the scenes here. Quite the wild scene. Are they banging drums here? <laughs> like banging drums on the barrels. Yeah. Nice. And over in Bordeaux, the French farmers also decided to dump waste and manure in front of the prefecture. Can you guys tell me in the comments what a prefecture is? Quite the aftermath here. Whoa, did you guys hear that? That was a boom. Where's that boom coming from? Okay. Quite the aftermath. Wow. Now we will move things ahead nine days here. And on March 20th in France, in the city of Pau, the protesters completely blockaded the Total Energies site for more than eight consecutive days. Let's look at the mess they left. Holy shit. That is one of the nastiest messes I think I've ever covered on this channel here from the French farmer protests. That is wild. Oh my gosh. The piles of garbage are almost as tall as the building. <gasps> and there's more. There's more on the other side of the parking lot here. Wow. Imagine being the person who has to clean this up. Oh boy. And the following day, over in a city called Muray in France, the French farmers were once again dumping waste in front of these buildings and apparently taking out some of the radars. Let's watch. Uh, the dumping videos never get old. Quite the scenes out of France, but we're going to move things over to London in the UK. Five days later, on March 26, a giant protest happened in front of British Parliament, and the farmers showed up, and the people showed up to support them as well. <laughs> There's Big Ben. No farmers, no food is what they're saying. Quite the scenes out of London. Pretty wild to see the Big Ben in the background. But we're going to move things over on the same day in Belgium, where the French farmers, or the Belgian farmers, and the police have a standoff here where the water cannons are shooting at the farmers and the farmers are shooting their manure. Quite the scene. All right, this one's wild. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
water cannon versus a, a manure. <laughs> Oh man. Ah, pas touché, pas touché. Non. Ah. <laughs> that was awesome. Now the following day, we're going to move things to France on March 27th. Look, we're catching up. On March 27th, the farmers are still blockading the giant distribution center for Aldi, which is a huge German grocery store. Watch this. Wow. No trucks getting into this place. <laughs> and that wasn't the only distribution center that the farmers decided to go after. As the following day here, on March 28th, the protesters went and started a tire fire in front of another huge logistics center. Wow. <laughs> Man, Trudeau sees that black smoke. He's, he's not happy. That's a lot of emissions. Wow. <laughs> All right. We have caught up February. We have caught up March. And now we are in April. And on April 5th, farmers decided to dump a bunch of what appears to be like apples in front of the prefecture over in Bourges. <laughs> wow. How do you like them apples? And in Bourges, the farmers built a straw wall to block anybody from getting into that building we just watched that had all the apples dumped in front of it. What an awesome shot. That's probably going to be my thumbnail. Look at this. <laughs> Don't mess with the farmers. And on that same day, except in another city in France called Vesoul, the farmers decided to block the roads by doing a slow roll here between RN19 and RN57. And on that same day, on the other side of the pond here in my home country of Canada, the farmers decided to protest too. And it's great to see that these European farmer protester accounts here are covering what's happening in Canada as a huge convoy of tractors made their way to the U.S.-Canada border here in Quebec. This is Canada. You could you notice you notice the snow on the ground? <laughs> Welcome to Canada. Look at this convoy here. Canada is in the house. Let's go. Wow. Look at that. I've been covering this farmer protest for months, asking myself when is Canada going to get involved? And they did get involved. Just look at this. Look at this convoy of tractors here in Canada. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? Crazy. There's even more. There's over, there's hundreds of tractors here. Over a hundred easily. Look at that big boy over there. Wow. 
The protests are spreading all across the world, folks. The protests are spreading. Look at that. Wow. And here's what the protests look like near the Quebec-USA border here in saint jean sur richelieu Quite the turnout. Look at the amount of tractors. Not bad. It's a decent amount of tractors. And if you look here, there's tractors at the bottom. There's tractors in the middle right behind the stage. Follow my mouse. And then there's tractors all along the road. Way to go, Canada. And over in Canada this week, there was another huge protest here in Montreal that I attended. If you guys look here on my channel, zoom in. If you go watch this live broadcast here from three days ago called Live at Farmer Protest in Montreal, I covered it. There's a two and a half hours of live streaming from that protest. The farmer protests are officially in Canada. Now we'll move things back to France, and I have a couple more clips to get through. We're almost done here. But on April 10th, three days ago here, the farmers are still protesting out in France, and it was an angry convoy of 70 tractors and 200 farmers arrived in the center of Montauban to go and protest at their prefecture. The farmers have taken over the town of Montauban here. working their way around the barriers. Huh. April 10th, guys, they are still protesting, man. It's still going on. This is powerful stuff. Ah, they brought some waste to dump. <laughs> and over in this town of Montauban in France, the following day, the farmers deployed their garbage and their waste and their manure and dumped it all over the streets. <laughs> the police are blocking the road and now they're making their own blockade here. Wow. <laughs> she called the cop a, a pig in French. <laughs> Wild Wild. And on the same day in another town in France called Cleric, the protesters were there to dump manure. This video has a lot of manure for the record on a OFB building. Maybe you guys could tell me in the comments what an OFB building. Let's watch this hilarious clip. All right, I actually did some digging here, and the OFB building is the Office Francaise of Biodiversity. And man, I'm already laughing because this clip is savage. I love the manure clips. Here's some, <laughs> here's some biodiversity for you. <laughs> oh man, they're getting a shower. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's going to stink. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, did they ever get showered? <laughs> oh man. And the people on the left here in Canada thought the freedom convoy was bad. They're literally doing manure showers in France. These guys cried about some music and some honking. Let's have a little perspective here. Wow. <laughs> Quite the scenes here at the OFB, man. Wow. It's a good shower. Quite the shower. And on that same day, on April 11th, in a town called Bergerac, 
Emmanuel Macron was set to speak. He was in the town visiting, and the farmers made their way to go see Macron. They're not giving up. They're keeping the pressure on, on their way to go have a chat with Macron. God bless these farmers. They are just awesome. Now, I don't have any footage from Bergerac and the farmers meeting up with him, but I do remember the last time the farmers met Manuel Macron, and oh boy, did it not end well for him. And in our last clip of the night here, yesterday in the prefecture over in the town of Valence in France, the farmers are still protesting and dumping garbage in front of the prefecture because the government didn't hold their end of the bargain that they made when they were blocking highways in January. Watch. Wow. This is what happens when you don't keep your end of the bargain. The farmers come back. Wow. So that was yesterday in France. Apparently the French government didn't keep their end of the bargain. And the protests still go on over in France. All right, we are all caught up on mostly the French part of the protests here. And I'll keep digging up more information for more updates on some of the other countries. But hopefully this was a good catch up here on this channel as to everything that's happened with the farmers in the last month and a half here so tell me in the comments down below did was this a good video did this catch you guys up are you happy to see me make farmer videos again i really want to know tell me down below if you want to support this channel smash the like button so youtube shows more people this video and more people find out about the farmer protests in europe Share this video out with your friends. Tell them about tell your friends about the pleb reporter on YouTube. And if you want to support my journalism, you could buy a membership to this channel for only five Canadian dollars. My name is the pleb, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.